Okay, so every single year, AQA release a new student booklet with the new NEA briefs, and that always comes out in March. And this is the ones for 2021. Now, your teacher should be able to put these into an area for you um, so that you can just simply download them. So for my guys, that is in the shared folder. So as you scroll down, you will then find the briefs. We're going to brief two. And there it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you now how you can deconstruct this brief using a software called MindMock. Okay, so the link's in the PowerPoint. And it's really, really simple. First of all, we go to our brief. And the main thing is it's a two-minute music video. So I can copy that, go across to MindMock, and click on Get Started. Create a new map. simply double click and paste in the main thing which is to create a two minute music video for an established music artist or band and it's a really simple case of just copying and pasting the brief across so it's to be used across internet platforms and up here you will see you can create a sibling node or a child node. A child node basically sticks it off the side and a sibling node just creates an additional node next to it. So I'm going to create a child node and paste in some of these. These are the sub requirements. Now you'd be surprised how often people get the main part of the brief wrong because they didn't establish what he was actually asking. They've got sidetracked by minimum requirements and other things and they've missed the main point and that's why this method is so so useful so it's aimed at existing fans and it must feature the audience in some way so at least two filming locations these are the minimum requirements now um, you can see how we can move this along into different areas. Identifiable narrative. We've already covered that there. Variety of shot selection, so that's just media language. This is interesting, the diegetic sound. And this is where the next part Now this bit's quite interesting as well, probably worth talking about in case it comes up again. You might be wondering, what's the difference here? It's asking um, some identifiable narrative, and then over here it's saying narrative codes to engage and include the audience. So what we're talking about here is down here we're talking much more about narrative in terms of prop, total of binary opposition, whereas up here we're talking more about enigma. You know that cliffhanger how we can hook the audience in maybe even the mode of address that you use to include the audience so um two slightly different things there so you might be wondering why they're different and then 
it goes without saying really that, but it's media language. So I'm actually going to add that onto here. Because that is actually a subsection. Variety of shot selection, framing and camera movement. Editing to create meaning. It's the same thing, but this is just including music. Okay, so once you've got that, um, now we can start to explore it further. So we'll have a look at that in the next video. For now, just get to that stage.